A New York prosecutor says that Marine veteran Daniel Penny, his subway chokehold went too far. Uh, well, defense says his courage helped others. Uh, so yesterday, prosecutors and defense attorneys um, both agreed that Daniel Penny didn't intend to kill uh, Jordan Neely. Uh, but a prosecutor uh, yesterday told jurors that Penny went too far in trying to neutralize uh, someone. Uh, so again, talking about Marine veteran Daniel Penny's encounter last year with a uh, distress, uh, what some may say, an angry man uh, making some uh, what could be considered outlandish or ominous remarks on the New York subway. Uh, defense attorneys uh, mentioned that Penny didn't mean to kill him, uh, but the prosecutor in uh, opening opening statements told jurors that Penny went too far trying to neutralize someone that he saw as a threat and not as a person. Uh, while Penny's defense attorneys said the penny showed courage and put others welfare ahead of his own uh, when he placed jordan neely in a chokehold that uh, fortunately ended with neely limp on the floor uh, so this is a manslaughter trial that is surrounding neely's death uh, the case has definitely rattled uh, the the country and fault lines, you know, surrounding race, homelessness, uh, perceptions of public safety, and bystanders' responsibility. When to step in, when not. If you step in, what's too much, what's too little. Uh, so the critics of Penny say he's a, a white vigilante killer of a black man who is behaving erratically and was making some dire statements, but he wasn't armed and hadn't even assaulted or even touched anyone in the subway car. While supporters of Penny credit the 25 year old with taking action uh, to protect frightened riders, uh, action that he has said was meant to defuse, to defuse, not, not, not kill. Uh, prosecutor in opening statements told jurors that the case wasn't a referendum on our society's failure to deal with mental illness and homelessness. Uh, homelessness uh, on the subway, nor uh, on police response uh, on whether Penny had the right to intervene before officers arrived or even whether his initial decision to use a chokehold was appropriate. Uh, instead, prosecutors argued that uh, Marine veteran uh, Daniel Penny used far too much force for far too long, and it went way too far, uh, showed indifference toward Neely and didn't recognize his humanity. Uh, not so, says you know, the defense attorneys, uh, told jurors that Penny applied only as much force as needed to contain a, a seething uh, psychotic man who had lunged towards a woman with a small child uh, and declared, in quote, I will kill, end quote. And so in that moment, uh, defense argues that Danny couldn't look away and pray, uh, or he could look away and pray, or he could summon that courage and put the safety of his neighbors above himself to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Uh, doesn't mean uh, make him a hero, but it doesn't mean that he is... Uh, a killer as well. Uh, jurors were 
a quiz on their subway experiences uh, and later saw body cam footage of officers trying to revive Neely on the subway floor and Penny calmly explaining he had put him out. Uh, so this case, as, as you can tell, been absorbed into our fractious politics with uh, you know, Republican officials speaking up for Penny and Democratic ones attending Neely's funeral. Uh, both the supporters and critics of Penny have held demonstrations. Uh, Penny arrived at the courthouse yesterday, Friday, to critical chance uh, from a small group of protesters. Once he's in court, uh, Penny sat straight up in his seat at the defense table, mostly looking directly ahead. Neely's life uh, was tattered uh, by mental illness and drug use after his mother was murdered horrifically and stuffed in a suitcase when she was a uh, when he was a teen. This happened. Uh, so by age 30, he sometimes entertained subway riders, uh, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson impersonator, but he also had a criminal record. That included assaulting a woman uh, at the subway station. Penny, on the other hand, uh, was an architecture student who served four years in the Marines uh, and was going from a college class to a gym when he encountered Neely on the subway on May 1st, 2023. Neely was begging for money, shouting about being willing to die or go to jail and making sudden movements, according to witnesses. Uh, Neely talked about hurting people, and this is when Penny put his arm around the man's neck, took him to the floor, and held Neely there with Penny's legs around him. Uh, some of this footage was filmed by a bystander, uh, and the, the count, the looks like it was uh, that Penny held Neely for about six minutes. Uh, the hold continued as a train stopped at a station, uh, but two riders got off. Those who helped restrain Neely and another warned Penny, quote, if you don't let him go now, you're going to kill him, end quote, according to statements and court papers. Uh, Penny was pleading with fellow passengers to call the police and that he kept holding Neely because the man periodically flailed or tried to get up. Uh, Penny ultimately uh, released or, or let Neely go after uh, nearly a minute after his body went limp. Uh, prosecutors say he waited for the police. Uh, and although Penny was trained in first aid, uh, that he didn't make an effort, didn't check Neely's breathing or Paul's or trying to revive him. Penny later uh, told police that he had simply wanted to de-escalate the edgy situation and wasn't trying to injure Neely, but rather keep him from hurting anyone else. The city medical examiners determined that Neely died from compression of the neck. As far as what we are looking at for a potential sentence, uh, Daniel Penny could be sentenced to 19 years in prison if convicted. Uh, and Penny is a 25-year-old Marine Corps veteran and college student. So another sad story, and we hope that this never happens again.